Breaking news, ha ha ha, Chief of Army Staff exposed President Muhammad Buhari. Hmm. My dear, Chief of Army Staff exposes President Muhammad Buhari. Now, President Muhammad Buhari brought about and told Nigerians that, well, uh, we are organizing what we call a repentant program for this set of people because uh, they deserve uh, um, help. They've, they've made a mistake. Let them retrace their steps. My dear, have you heard of the word called scam? Have you heard? Like, have you heard? Just a question. Yeah, that was what it was real scam it was not true it was never true and would never ever be true it was all a scam it was all a scam okay it was all a scam he told them he said you know what uh they, they these people have committed one form of uh this or the other but let's give them the opportunity you know to come out of this and that and that and that was what he did that was what he did and guess what? Not knowing it was a plot, it was a plight. It was, a, you know, for them to continue to take away the indigenous people, starting from the north, and then they begin to creep in. You know, and they begin to creep in. And today, like you and I know, we can see the resultant effect of all that is currently going on. Listen, my people, the time to wake up, it's now. It's not tomorrow. Let's get all the details. The anti-terror battle for the federal government may suffer a setback it learned yesterday. This is Army Chief who telling Nigerians that the Army are suffering a, a setback. You know, they've been announcing to us that they are winning the battle. And he's telling us, he's exposing Buhari and, the, and these people, the plans that they have. The Army has raised the alarm over many so-called repentant war fighters who are now backsliding. And going back, converting and joining in the war, having studied the Nigerian government and the army. Some of them, part of the army now, are the ones killing the very army while they are in battle. The threat commander of the operation, Hinder General Christopher Mustafa, disclosed that the repentant bandits sex members have, who have surrendered to the troops and have been brought into the army have studied the way of the army and the ones now going behind to carry out these atrocities also the federal government has expressed worry over the activities of the bandits and other non-state actors using the country common radio frequency spectrum without license and payment of appropriate fee. The increased activities of the terrorists in the Sub-Hara region, the economic communi communi community of the West African ECOWAS said the worsening security could undermine the region's the regional integration and stability, saying this is not acceptable. It was also learned that foreign donors are as the one stemming this Islamic State of West Africa province, ISWAP. Major Mustafa disclosed that 20,000 insurgents have laid down their arms in the Northeast and the commander, and these are the very people going back again to pick up the arms and to fight against the Nigerian army and government. Lots of people have been thinking and expressing concern on what has currently been going on, saying this is not acceptable. This is never the way it intended to be. This is never the way. This is what Nigerian government has brought on Nigerians, lying to the people that they will they were fighting and winning the war. Apparently, it's all a disguise. Nothing really is going on in that light and in that front. So this is what is hap happening. This is the army chief exposing Buhari and telling Nigerians that Buhari, you know, and the repentant people, they all have a plan. Okay, there is a plan going on and you'll be surprised that these repentant people are now the ones that, you know, are now in the army and the ones they are recruiting and sending to the east. So what they do now, they are trying to ensure that they eliminate the east because they know that the east have young men and women who are committed to ensuring that their region is protected. And so what they do, everybody, anyone that they want to take away, they call you what ESM and they call you IPOB. And in that very 
opportunity that the federal government have declared and call them the name that they are not they take they take advantage of that and begins to destroy lives and property so this is what is currently going on my people this is what is currently happening we must not stand back and allow these people to continue on their track and continue to destroy and cause all these things to the nation we must all rise up to the truth of what is going on and understand that the country is currently in a very very you know in a, in a very very dicey position and as long as we remain you know in a true position as long as we stand up and you know we we, we push back on this very buhari and his people all the lies being told we cannot really come out of it unless we stand up together and push back okay this rent and this whole uh repentant body thing trust me it is a scam a scam of the century buhari is not ready okay is not ready in any way form or kind okay to make these people stop what they are doing if he wants to make them stop what they are doing the nigerian army you know have the capacity you know god willing god helping to bring to an end you know the, the nigerian army has the great capacity however you'll be shocked okay that these things are being orchestrated allowed by some people and these things are being fueled by some people both in the military both in the government and these people are aiding and supporting all these things so whatever you see you know whatever you see going on is all a well thought out plan orchestrated and you know design to ensure that they have their way okay so please it is not time for anybody or anyone to just keep quiet and pretend and say uh you know this is going on no 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 it is time for us to rise up rise up to the truth rise up to the occasion and you know we must speak out speak out so much that the international community we know that they are not doing much will come and investigate Okay, we'll come and investigate. Investigations must go on because the people who you think you are committed, you know, they are in leadership right now, they are the very, very set same people who are committing all these things. They are the ones who are, you know, who are using all these forms of atrocities against the nation. Buhari being their chief boss, you know, he told them before that he was going to assist them and that uh, Nigeria belongs to them. Sadly, Nigeria does not belong to them. But when somebody has been fed with a lie, some of this, what, some of his activities begin to shine forth because he'll be acting based on that line, on that lie, you know, because he thinks that something belongs to him. So this is part of what is going on right now. Um, my people, it is high time we all rise up you know uh it's, it's right time it's, it's the right time now we all rise up but leave us a comment we'd love to hear from you please do not forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless you have a good day bye for now